Hey, 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 this is Mr. Raiden. We are in Unit 7, Diffy Qs, and we've talked to, we've taken a look at what a differential equation is. We took a look at writing differential equations. We took a look at evaluating differential equations to see if those were actually solutions. And you might have asked yourself, well, if they give me a solution, I can uh, I can put it in my Diffy Q and figure out whether it works. But what how do I find that solution? How do I find that solution without them just giving it to me, and that's what today is about. It is about separating variables to solve Diffie Qs. It's that second step of, once you set up your differential equation, now can you solve it? And so let me show you what this means, the separation of variables to solve differential equations. And you might have asked in the last video when we were finding slope fields, is, why are we doing derivatives again? I thought we were doing integration in the second semester. I thought we were doing, in all these units, we were doing integration. Why are we going back to differentials, to derivatives? Well, this is where they all kind of come together, is what's called the separation of variables. And so the separation of powers means that you have three units of government. You have the executive, the judicial, and the legislative. No, no, no. Separation of variables, not powers, uh, in order to solve differential equations. So here I have a differential equation, and I want to solve it. They didn't give me a possible solution, and we're evaluating it. We're trying to solve it. So we have dy over dx is equal to 2x over 3y squared. And so what I want to do is I want to get all my x's on one side and all my y's on the other. So I'm going to multiply 3y squared on this side. So 3y squared dy. And the dx is going to be multiplied out here, so 2x dx. So now do you see how I have a dy on one side with my y's? I have my dx on the other side with my x's, which means now that means I am primed and ready to integrate. If you have me for AP Physics Calculus, you know we have done this before. We set up our differential, we move things to both sides, and then we are primed and ready to integrate. So what's the integral of 3y squared with respect to y is y cubed, isn't it? What's the integral of 2x with respect to x is x squared plus c. x squared plus c. Which means when we solve this for y, y is equal to the cubed root of x squared plus c plus some constant. And this is my solution to my differential equation. If you took the derivative of this and you plugged it in my equation, my differential equation, it would work. It would work. And so this is my solution via separation of variables. Let me show you another problem. Here we have the differential equation uh, dy over dx equals e to the x times y squared. So what I want to do, I want to separate my variables in order to solve this. Which means I'm going to get my y's on one side. We have 1 over y squared is equal to e to the x dx. Or you could say y to the negative 2 is equal to e to the x dx. Oh, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. We have a dy on this side, don't we? We have a dy because that dy was still on that side. We just divided it by the y squared. We have our dx on the other side, which means now our y's are on one side and our x is on the other. We have our dy, we have our dx, which means now we're primed and ready to integrate. We're primed and ready to integrate. So what's the integral of y to the negative 2? Well, that would be y to the negative 1 times negative 1. Okay times 1 over negative 1, obviously. What's the integral of e to the x is e to the x plus c. So what do we really have? We have negative 1 over y is equal to the e to the x plus c, e to the x plus c. And so I'm going to get y by itself, which means I'm going to do the reciprocal of everything. Okay, so negative y is equal to 1 over e to the x plus c. Now we're going to multiply by a negative, so y is equal to negative 1 over e to the x plus some constant. I don't know what that constant is because we, uh, I don't know any points or anything like that. I just know it's a constant, and that is my solution to my differential equation. Let me show you one more separation of variables. Here is the 2013 AP Calculus exam. Consider this differential equation, dy over dx is equal to e to the y times 3x squared minus 6x. So what do I want to do? I want to separate my variables. I want to get my e on e to the y on one side with my dy. I'm going to keep my 3x squared minus 6x on this side, but with dx. 
So what I really have, I have e to the negative y dy is equal to 3x squared minus 6x dx, which means now I am primed and ready to integrate, aren't I? What's the integral of e to the negative y? Well, that's negative e to the negative y. And what's the integral of 3x squared? Would be x cubed minus 3x squared. And you can, that's the reverse power rule, plus c, plus c. Now I'm going to do some algebra in order to get this to say y is equal to. We want it to be a function. So we have e to the negative y is equal to negative x cubed plus 3x squared minus that constant because I distribute this, I move this negative over to the right hand side. Now I'm going to move e over. How do I move e over? Well that would be doing natural log to both sides. I'm going to do natural log to both sides to move that e over algebraically. So we have natural log of negative x cubed plus 3x squared minus c. Now I'm going to move a negative over. So y is equal to negative natural log of negative x cubed plus 3x squared minus c. And that is my solution to my differential equation. I, like, again, I don't know what that c is. I don't know any points. But what do I know is that is the solution to my differential equation by using separation of variables. Hope that made sense, guys. That was how do we solve? How do we do our algebra? And what are we doing? We're separating our variable, variables. We're doing our integral. And then we are solving for x. And that is solving Diffie Qs. See you guys. Bye.